Hi, this is Manny from Manny's Makings, and I come to you today with another video. Uh, it's a sort of a wire wrapping earring tutorial. So we're going to make a pair of these. We're going to do them in a different color. So we're going to do them in a silver and black. And I just wanted to show you how I do them. So they're lots of fun. They sort of look like one of the snail fossils a little bit with some color it pops of color in them with some beads so they're lots of fun um, they're a little bit more complicated to make especially the flattening the wire into a circle um, takes a little bit more skill so I wouldn't say they're beginner level but they're definitely not really difficult so um, what you're going to need to create these earrings let's move these out of the way is you're going to need some wire, uh, both 26 gauge and uh, 18 gauge. 18 gauge is for to weave on, and 26 is to do the weaving. I'm using a ring mandrel today, but you could use anything that creates the hole in the center that as the size that you want it to be. Um, and I'm uh, my ring mandrel. I'm using it like a size five because that's just the perfect size hole for me to make these. You're going to need a set of ear wires, uh, obviously, to put the earrings on when you're completed, and then you're going to need some tools. So I'm using my bent nose needle nose pliers, my wire straighteners, uh, my round nose pliers, and I only need them in one place. Yay! And my flush cutters. And you're going to need to have, for each pair of earrings, you're going to need to have um, three pieces of wire, so of the 18 gauge, and those are, oh, you're going to need a ruler, I always use my ruler, so let's see how long these are here. These are about seven and a half inches, I did them by centimeters, this particular pattern I wrote out in centimeters, so I'm using, you know, 18 centimeters or so of wire, so um, you can do it either way, inches or centimeters is fine by me and go get your supplies ready, uh, cut yourself six pieces of wire um, because we're going to stop part way through and then you're going to compare it to the other one that you've done part way through so as you can see I've started another one here because I want to show you, oh yeah you're going to need some beads so these are size 11, uh, these happen to be uh, Picasso uh, smoke black so they have uh, a wonderful sort of natural black uh, greenish black tone to them so they're quite lovely and they'll go really well with this uh, sort of antique, copper, uh, antique uh, silver looking wire so get ready and come on back when you're all ready okay so I've cut myself off uh, the weaving wire you're gonna need a full wingspan in a little bit so definitely you know that's my full wingspan I'm five foot and change so um, five foot two so that my wingspan is approximately your height so if you have really long arms it'll be a little longer but give yourself you know five and a half feet uh, of weaving wire and just sort of let it hang off to the side of you uh, you know to w whether you're right handed or left handed doesn't really matter you're going to take your uh, wire and I just need my ruler here so for me about the 6.5 centimeter mark which is the same as uh, let's see 6.5 centimeter yeah that's two and a half inches so uh, around the two and a half inches mark if you're uh, from the United States um, otherwise it's 6.5 centimeters you're gonna start so I'm gonna grab my first wire and I'm just gonna put a tail on it um, to hold on to and I'm gonna wrap around the wire once twice and have it facing upwards okay so bringing those in a little closer and this is an exact science the idea is you're gonna leave end up leaving the same amount on either side and then you have the left version and the right version of the um, earring so depending on whether it's left or right you're gonna take that and go over the other side so you're ready to put your second weaving wire in and I'm going to do it like this and then I'll, I'll go really super close up for those of you who want to see how I'm putting the wire on, okay? So I'm just trying to lay this so that it lays beside this wire and I'm making sure that the ends here are sort of equal. So I'm laying them beside each other with a little tiny bit of space between them and I'm going around both wires one, two times and I'm going to come up the middle of the two wires and push and up okay so then I'm ready for my third piece of wire and again I'm just making sure the three ends are around the same length 
and I'm giving it a little bit of space and I'm going around once around the two top wires so I'm coming up in between the first and second and then I'm going to go a second time around the top two wires that I, the one I just put in and the one before that and then I'm going to come up between the second and third wire and push and go around the top wire by itself once twice and then I'm going to come back down to the bottom and repeat the pattern so let me get the wires straightened out a little bit here they're all being kind of so I'm just fanning them out a little bit just so that it makes it easier for me to get the wire in and I'm going to zoom in so see if I can keep this in frame for you so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing okay so I have the two around this two around both two around both and then two around the top so let's do it again so, so you bring just bring your wire all the way around the back so I'm going to go around the bottom wire once twice and then I'm going to go around both wires and I bring my wire up so it's where I want it to be and then I sort of put it between the two and then bring it down once twice and then I bring it up the middle between the two first two wires and I push and that helps to squish them together we're going to squish them together more but once around the top two wires come back between the first and second again so you're there and then you're going to go around the top two wires again and this time you're going to come back around the back and up between the third um, second and third wire so you, you're right there between the second and third and then you're going to come around the top one twice by itself once twice oops okay so this is what you have so far now if you're worried about the spacing don't it's what's going to happen is as we do this we're going to squish this down um, and really make it tight and it's going to get really really solid looking um, it's a really solid weave uh, the other side you're going to have the one wire that sort of runs across the back when you skip to the new side and I'll show you more as we go along so I'll do it another time so I'm coming around the back and I'm coming up and I'm going around the first wire once by itself coming around the first wire twice and I'm still coming around the bottom now I'm going to go around two wires and go between the second and third sorry and I'm going to come around the two wires and go between the second and third so we have two and two so far and then I'm going to come up between the first and second wire and push so I'm pushing them in it sort of snugs them up together and then I'm going to come up around the top two wires and back in between the first and second wire and back up around the top two wires and then I'm going to come up between the second and third wire and then I'm going to come around the top once twice and that's my pattern I'm going to repeat and repeat and repeat I'm going to do 23 repeats of this pattern because that's what I did on the other earring and you can just make sure that nothing's overlapping itself something doesn't feel right so I'm going to check it under my magnifying glass so I can see that everything is good and just keep going and keep going and do, and until you get 23 of these and I'm counting them that one bar is one that one bar is two that one bar is three so those three together count as like one pattern so I did 23 of those um, and when you get 23 of those done come back and see me Okay, so I thought I'd just remind you uh, as you go along make sure that you squish them down so I just take my thumbnails and squish them together and see how they tighten up quite a bit but you can also take your nylon jaw pliers and do the same thing just hold it the bottom here so it doesn't go where anywhere else and then squish it in so that they're nice and tight and as you can see I mean the bottom's going to move at the moment but that's okay um, the top's not and keep going till you have 23 so right now I have five I got to keep going okay I'm back and I have my uh, 23 of these patterns on and you can see I've squished them in really tight to each other and just so you know uh, for Europeans it's 
five and a half, not quite six. Um, and for it's two and a quarter for everybody else. So it's that's how much weaving I have. So if you have more than that, um, you can do less. Uh, if you weave, your weaving isn't as tight as mine. Um, you know, but when I shove it, I shove it down a lot and keep it shove it down so that it's nice and tight. Um, if it's not as tight as this, then you may need less, um, or you can make bigger circles. So you can make uh, a lot bigger circles and uh, have fun with it there. So, um, so let's uh, go on to the next part. Hold on a second, and I'll get everything ready. Okay, so this is the one I've already done, and I'm gonna. This is the one we're gonna do. So I got it to this stage, and the reason I got it to this stage is because I want to make the, both of these circles the same, because they're earrings, it would be nice if they're pretty close. So, um, and this one, these wires go over this way, over one back wire, uh, which is the back one of the three of them from this side, which is where my weaving wire is. And the other ones, I have to make them go over um, the opposite way. So that's something I need to think about as I'm taking care of this. So let's me back out a little bit because I think I'm too close for this. Okay, so I need to put these wires over top of this um, back wire here when I get there. Okay, so I need first to get rid of the tail. That's where I started, so I need to cut it off. So I have two wraps, uh, and then I usually like to bring it up in the middle between the two. So let's see if I can bring it up without it being a pain in the behind. There we go. And then I just cut it off, remember? Um, okay, my nippers are here somewhere. I know I call them nippers. But I just cut that off and it's cut off in between the wires so it's not going to go anywhere um, and it's out of the way and there's nothing scratching at all so it's awesome. Alright, so with the weaving wire intact, we're still leaving what's left on the weaving wire and this still has weaving wire attached to it as you can see. I'm going to take a look at it and go, okay, now i got to make it go the other way. So you can do this with your fingers. This is a really tough weave to do this with your fingers. You can, and I, I can do it. Um, but you might need to put it around something. There's a couple of schools of thought. One is that you can do it flat and then bring it forward. It doesn't work that well with this one. It might give you a bit of a start. but um, So what I tend to do is I take it where I want it to start going around and I'm holding it it's sort of in the middle of the weave let me get this out of the way and I want it to go down around the five size so that they're, they're, I'm gonna have to tweak it but basically I'm taking the wire and I'm making sure I'm not holding this inside wire because it's gonna slide that inside wire is gonna get longer as I do this so I'm bringing it around just ever so slowly bringing it around from the top this is what it looks like I'm just bringing it around it just gives me something to sort of push against um, so you can push against anything you might have that's the right size okay now we start pushing on this side this is where it changes a bit I'm gonna do it part way but when the wires start to overlap because they are gonna get to the point where they're gonna overlap I need to stop for a second and figure out which way I need to go okay so put them back on the five there and I'm going to keep pushing and pushing now I can see that it pushed funny there so see how the the wire sort of goes funky doodle and I'm pushing okay so see how the wires are starting to cross at the top here okay so this is where I have to start to think I need to do much more pushing but I need to start to think. How do I want these wires to cross? These ones crossed in the front of these ones. This one only crossed to the back wire. So if I was doing this the same as that one, I would put these wires between that back wire. I don't know if you can see that. I'm putting all three there. So as I continue to bend, they're going to bend in that groove. Because I'm doing the opposite earring, I need to go the opposite way and put these three wires in. See if I can sh spread the wires. Okay, so there's two wires to the front, one to the back. It's the very back wire, the very outside wire that becomes my. And then these two get the goodies put on them when you come around. 
and then these ones get wrapped around this to um, secure them off. Okay, so as I'm pushing now, I'm going to keep them spread like this, and I'm going to keep pushing, okay? So I'm going to put this back on here, and I'm paying attention to that they're spread, and I'm going to bring it around the front so I can you guys can see it too, okay? And I'm going to push against my form. So I'm pushing against my form, and I'm holding it as flat as I can. See? It's going around my form going around my form and you can see that it splays out that back wire from the other two wires that's fine okay so I got it part way right and I can see that this bottom is not as round as I'd like it to be so you can pull it out tweak it with your fingers put it back around the mandrel squish it some more and see I'm worrying about rounding out this side here on this side here where my finger is moving so that it matches this side here and you're not going to be perfect at this um, because this is such a stiff weave to bring it around it's really hard to get them perfectly round and what they're going to want to do is this they're going to want to tilt one way or the other okay so just relax if it does that it's okay see how you can see that it's not perfectly flat anymore let's see if I can get it to focus here Come on, camera. Okay, there we go. So, see how it's not perfectly flat anymore? That's okay. Just, I need to round that bottom out better. It's not rounded out very good. So, I'm going to round it out. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep tweaking and tweaking and tweaking until I get it where I'm happy with it. And sometimes you have to pull out to make it rounder. And then push back in, push back in push back in okay so I'm trying to match up this size here okay so I'm getting there it's getting close but I gotta come in a little bit more now when you pull when I end up wrapping these wires around that back wire it, see how when I pull like this it is going to bring it in some okay so let me pull it and see how close that is when I do it there. Okay. It's getting there. Pretty close. So I know that when I wrap these around there, it's going to change um, everything a little bit. So I'm going to make sure all my weavings down nice and tight because then they're the same size. just I'm continuing to tweak and this is what you're gonna have to do um, as I said this is sort of a medium range project it's not terribly hard it just takes a lot of fiddling okay so when you get it to the point where you're pretty happy they're gonna be pretty close to the same and I know this one looks a, a little bit wider I'm gonna fix that see what's going on with the wire weaving see my wire weaving is not as tight see how the wire weavings come looser at the bottom so I need to open this up a bit and squish my wire weaving back down because my wire weaving has come loose and that's what's causing me to be off on my sides so see I'm squishing it back down my wire weaving I haven't squished it this way with the pliers or anything else yet so I still have a little bit of wheel room where I can just take my thumb and fingers over top of that and push them tighter together Okay, so now they're tighter together, so they're going to match, the weave's going to match better. But it also shortened this up a little bit. See, that brought it in quite a bit more. See how much more it brought it in? So that's pretty close, other than this bottom's not as round as I like, but we'll fix that after we secure it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, bring these two so that the wire weaving is sort of hidden behind, sorry, sorry, hidden behind these two front wires here. And these wires I'm going to take and I'm going to wrap them starting with the bottom one around. I'm pulling tight so that it's coming around right where that wire um, wrap ends. And I'm going to pull it tight and bring it across. And I'm going to take the next one and pull it tight and bring it across. And the next one I'm going to pull it tight and bring it across. And all, they're, all they've done is they've sat around the back like this. Okay, 
Let's move that weaving wire to the front. Get it out of the way. And now I have these three things that need to be put tight onto this top wire that I have to bend up. So I'm going to push in and then bend up. So now that I have it bent up, it's going to keep these from sliding as much. And I can see that, see how this sticks out a little too much here? So that's the bottom one. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull it a little tighter. And if you can't do it with your fingers, you can definitely grab the tool because you're just going to cut. Wow, I'm having trouble staying on frame for some reason. Okay, so you can pull it like this and make it tighter around there. And if you really need to, you can back it out a little bit and then pull it this way a little bit. You're going to cut off this wire here on this side. This wire here you're going to use to do the decorations on the inside. Okay, so we got it to this stage. So they're all laying down beside each other. Right now my wires are all messed up. And I'm going to sort of push it down a little. It's not going down all the way, but just I want it not to move a lot when I do this last next step. So there we go. Okay, so I got the weaving wire, I got these wires, and I'm going to just lift them up a little bit because I need to stick my mandrel back in. Okay, so when I stick my mandrel back in, I can only go to like size three, and I'm going to push down, push down, and I'm trying to make it rounder. Okay, so I'm pushing down, and that bottom is not as round. Now, see how this is getting funky on the sides here? That's fine. This is the first time I'm going to, I'm taking a hold of this top wire that the other three are wrapped around, making sure that that's not going to move. I'm holding on to it, and now I'm taking my pliers, and I'm squishing and squishing against this mandrel. Squishing and squishing and squishing. So I'm bringing it out like a disc and squishing squishing. Now what starts to happen is it starts to flatten out and make it more round. Now I'm still having trouble with the bottom so I'm pulling to try to round this out. Pushing with my finger trying to round that out a little bit more. So you can see I'm using a lot of strength and I'm moving a lot and I'm sorry that I'm moving a lot because I'm, I'm using a lot of strength to get this to go where I want it to go. Pulling out a little bit, pushing in. So I'm pushing this bottom in, I'm flattening. Okay, let's see where we're at. Look at that, they're pretty damn close. They're close enough that I would be happy with that. Okay? So once you get it to this stage, and that took a little bit of fuffling. Okay, totally. I take my weaving wire, bring it around the front for now, and make sure I have these two wires that are available. This wire's up. It's going to be turned into the little bale, basically the piece that the earring gets attached. Now we got to get rid of this stuff here. Okay? So now that I have them both to that stage, I can get rid of both of those things. So one of the things I need to do, I can see that if you look at the angle here, it's not flat as it should be. So I'm going to take it with my, I'm taking it in my pliers and I'm flattening it out a little bit. Okay, I'm just flattening it out a bit. I want it to be flatter. Now this side I'll fix a little more once I get the wires cut off. Put my weaving wire out of the way. So I'm going to start at the bottom. And this is just what I do. And what I needed to do is, I don't know if you can see this, inside there is that wire that they're sort of wrapped, loosely wrapped around. I'm going to wrap them around a little bit more tighter, um, to some degree. So I need to cut it off so that, and you can err on the side of too much than too little. I'm just cutting it off flush. And I didn't cut all the way through that wire. There we go. So that when I take my pliers, and I'm going to do them one at a time after, I can turn them in, tweak them down and turn them in so that they're hidden behind the weaving and they're out of the way. Let me show you one in silver that's done. So see how that's tweaked in and hid behind here? That's what I'm, going to, I'm trying to do is tweak it in and hide it behind here. Okay? And I know that that's too long, but that's okay. I just need to get some of the length off. And I'm cutting these on an angle because the whole thing goes on a bit of an angle. 
I want to make sure I leave myself enough wire that I don't run into trouble. So I just cut two off at once, it's fine. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. And you can see it's sort of hooked on there, but not tightened or secured by any means. Now these little pieces of wire that I cut off, these are perfect for making links, they're the right size for making links uh, with, a, you know, a, a bead on them or whatever to making other jewelry. So I keep those, those are perfect. All right. So there's not a lot of waste here. Okay, so I take my pliers and I take the tip of, uh, this is going to have to be tighter so you can see it. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking my pliers and I'm taking the tips of, I'm taking all three at once and I'm just tweaking them under so that they, they're bent a little bit under. I don't know if you can see that, so that they're they're working towards where I want them to go. Bend them a little bit further. Okay, see? So I make some sort of tweak under a little bit. So now I can take them and squish them up against the back side. And that's what you gotta watch, that they, they're not a sorry, that they're not above here, that they're they stay to the back. Okay? So if I need to, I take them and go like this and tweak them down a little. There we go. And then I take my pliers and squish so that it goes down. And I just handle these. Usually I end up doing the outside and inside first and then I have to work on the other one. So this is your wire that's going to be your bail wire. And I know I'm moving around a lot. I'm sorry. Wire weaving requires you to move. And when you're doing a video, you can move about an inch. And I move more than an inch. And it's bad habits of doing wire weaving without having to film. I'm just tweaking them all down. Now I can see that they're a little big and I'm probably going to have to go back in with my cutters and cut them to make them smaller. Like that bottom one's definitely too big. Okay, so let's get my cutters in, which are caught up in my weaving wire. And I'm going to take off some length. And that second one's too long. And I'm just figuring out a way to get my pliers in there to cut it. Now let's get this one out of the way. A little more. Bring that around. Good. Now you're going to see, it's, see how it's sort of doming? You're going to flatten that, so don't worry about that. Leave the wire to the front. Get it out of the way. I'm just taking off a little bit. And I hate when I do that, when I don't cut all the way through the wire, but three quarters of the way. Okay. There we go. Clean that up that off so I've got them a little shorter and again I'm going to take them try not to push on any place that's got weave on it okay so if you, you can push on the main main one here as your counter push you know what I'm saying or push on each other and just go slowly because you don't want to mar this all up you've done all this weaving work now and you don't want it to look like garbage after you're done Okay, managed to get that pushed in a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to flatten out this whole process again. So I'm going to flatten it out, flatten it out, and bringing it around, flattening it out, flattening it out, flattening it out. And when I get to there, I flatten it out, and now we have a flatter piece. It has a little tiny bit of a dome to it, but you don't want it to have a lot of dome to it. Okay, so you have that, that's what you have, and you get to go into the next step. Now this is the same 
whether you do it to the right or the left. The only difference is what you do. Okay, zoom out. <laughs> Too tight. Can't move. Okay, so with this earring, this wire has to come around this, just the top wire, because we just use the bottom wire to put the beads on. Okay, and on this earring, once I trim off the back, this wire is going to go around the top, and this wire is going to have the beads on it. So these are the two that are in the front, see? So these will get cut off. All right. And what you need to do is, I don't know if you notice or you can see, but from here to the center, there's no weaving on these two wires. So I like to weave those two wires. And all I do is, I can see there's two on the bottom there. So I'm going to take my weaving wire and put it between wires one and two. So that it's between the two wires. Turn it around this way so I can actually do some weaving. And I'm going to wrap it around twice around this bottom one and I'm going to bring it in. And what it's doing is it's just bringing, sort of following the pattern a little bit. What I already have. I'm going to bring it around both wires twice. And then I'm going to bring it around this top wire twice. Which is now the top wire. Which is the one we're going to put the beads on. And that gets my weaving wire in place and ready for the beads. Okay? Now this, once I've got to that stage, I'm going to try to tuck that wire in a bit, the wire that I just weave, woven with, a little bit more. And then I'm going to take this wire here, and I'm going to bring it around, and bring it around, and I'm going to pretend I'm going to wrap right around the, the whole thing. And then I'm going to come back, and what that does is set up the curve that I'm going to need to cut it, and tuck it. So I'm cutting it, and I'm going to tuck this up and under. So if you need to, you can, and I like to take my, and bend it down, and I'm going to tuck this under. So I don't know if you can see that. It's tucked under the other, or just up to the other wire, okay? And then I'm going to take the whole thing, and from the back side, I'm going to squish it down so it's a little flatter. Okay, so we, everything's secure now except for where we're going to bead. Okay, do that to the other one and come back to me and we'll sh I'll show you how I do the beading. Okay, I'm back and I have both of them to the same stage. Um, they're both ready to go uh, for me to put the beads on. Um, both of them have the weaving wire coming up from the bottom. This one's coming from the bottom. So, and I have my left and my right, so I'm definitely ready to go to the next stage. So, I'm good. And these ones, it's really important that you do them both at the same time. Otherwise, you're not going to get sort of equal pairs. Now, this beading part here, you can do bigger beads to smaller beads. You can do, um, you know, whatever will fit. Um, on this weaving wire. So, uh, and the weaving wire is 26 gauge, so you can even use 15 O's if you want. So it's up to you how far you go. I went like halfway. I think it worked out to be, let me see, I have my little recipe here. So it looked like it was nine beads. It took to go about halfway. And as you see on these ones here, we're doing this inside part now. So nine beads, uh, it worked out to be. So um, and then uh, this is, ch I checked to see that these two ends were the same. I actually am really close, so I don't need to cut anything off. Um, they're both about six centimeters, just a little over six centimeters um, in length, which is, let's see if I got inches here. So it looks like it's like two and a half inches. So they're both two and a half inches from when the wire weaving stops that I have to work with uh, to get in the center here. So when I put the beads on, I like to put them on when the wire's coming up and I just grab a bead off my bead mat. You can see them. Hopefully you can see the beads. Yes, you can. Whoop. And I let it come down here. Let's see if I can get this in closer here. Yep. Oh, wrong way. Okay. Let's move everything so that you can see it all. 
All right, so I have my bead on the wire, and I take my bead and I sort of hold it in my finger and push so that the hole lays open and the wire is as close to the other wire as I can, and then I bring my wire up from underneath and come around and we'll one, two, so I'm just wrapping the single wire, coiling around it, three, four, I'm going to go to do the next one, I just bring it to the back, put my next bead on. Okay, so bring the next bead down the wire, Tonk. and I'm doing it while it's straight, it's fine, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, the whole idea is that you just want to make sure the hole's kind of laying that way. And there's one, so I put it where I want it, and I just use my thumb to sort of hold it in place. Two. I think that's three. Let me see. See if I can see it in here. Mm, yep, two. This will be three. Three. Four. And then on what I was going to start the fifth one, I just bring the wire up and get ready for the next beat. So basically, I have four wraps between each one. And there's the next one. Hold the bead where I want it to be. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm going to come around the back side. I'm ready to add my next bead. So this is what I do until I've got like nine beads on. And then I coil the rest of the way till I just have a little tiny tip left. Uh, probably that much, which is, I don't know, a couple of centimeters, not it's got centimeter, millimeters, uh, half a centimeter. Um, I wouldn't even go a sixteenth of an inch left. Just enough that I can grab it with my pliers to start the turn, because I'm going to sort of bend this around. But I do this all straight, so I'm going to do both of these, put the beads on. Uh, I'll, let, I'll let you see me do a couple more. Just put the bead on. Here. If I can grab hold of the end of the wire, it's being silly. And this is why I started with so much wire to start with, because I'm going to need a lot of wire to do stuff. I'll put that on there. Hold it from the back so it's flat. Squish it flat from the front. So I, I held it from the back, squished it flat from the front. And then one, two, three, four. Bring it around the back, put the bead on, Dunk. there we go, so I put my finger on the back of the bead, so, and then I squish it from the front, see, so they're sitting in like a little row. So you get the idea. Um, and I'm going to do them till I have nine on there. And then I will come back um, once I've done both earrings and got them ready for the turning part. So I'm at the coiling part here, and I thought I would just show you. I've pushed down these. Um, I don't want to push from like way down here and then push. I push them like in little segments so that this is all nice and tight. I have my nine beads on, and I'm coiling. So I'm just laying down the wires. You can lay them, as you can see, they don't have to be perfectly beside each other. And then you just pull tight again. And I only do a few um, coils. I can do them pretty quickly. They're not too far apart. See? And then push them together. And if you got, if there's big bumps there, and see how there's a little bump there, I would actually just take the coil, the whole coil, and turn it, and it'll make that bump go away. It just means that it's not as tight as it should have been. Okay, and I just do that to the end. I just keep coiling. And I can lay them down pretty good. After you do it for a while, you get better at it. And you're just not wanting to make the wires go over top of each other. And you can always feel that with your fingers because 
it'll feel like a sort of a washboard feel. And if you have a wire that's overlapping another wire, all of a sudden you'll have this bump that you'll feel that doesn't belong. And then you know you go on over top of each other. Okay, so just going to continue doing what I need to do. I'm going to need to splice in a little tiny bit of wire. And how I would do that is pull this coil apart a little bit. And I would start a wire. I'm just pulling the, the coils apart a bit. I would start a wire here between them and coil it the same way until I'm done. And that would get everything done for me. Okay. Okay, I'm back, and I only had to splice in just a little tiny bit of wire. Um, you can see, if you look on the back here, that's where I started my splice and ended my splice. It'll be on the back side. Um, you can barely see it. When you get near the end, um, push your coil down, which is going to want to spoing, uh, spoing just a little bit. So I'm pushing it down, and I'm taking my, okay, my beads are on, my beads are on this side. And I'm wanting to curl down. I'm wanting to curl the same side as my beads, okay? So depending on which one you're doing, um, depends on which way you go. So taking it the very tip of my pliers. And sorry about my chewed up fingers, but they're just chewed up. They get that way. They get callous, and then they peel, and then they get callous, and then they peel, and then they get callous. I can't seem to get them uncalloused and not peeling. And it doesn't matter how much. I'm just moving my weaving wire into the middle of that. Getting it out of the way of the loop. Okay. And what I want to do is bring the loop back till it touches itself on this side. Not quite there, almost. There we go. And I, I'm quite happy with the wire to be in there. Um, may have to do a couple more wraps, but usually when I make it circular, this goes and it fills up that extra space all on its own. But we'll see what happens. So, let's back out a bit. So now i got to take it and turn it into our wonderful circular so I literally just take my fingers and I'm holding it against the space in here and I want just a little bit of space as I go around and I'm making sure my beads I don't know if you noticed but the space that I left between the beads is now getting filled in I'm trying to see if there's anything else that will affect my focus here um, the space is getting filled in and the beads are coming up and butting up against each other as we go because of the um, space that I left when I do the circle part, it, it tightens them up. Now, this tends to be a spot where it goes funky a little bit, which is at the last bead. So, just be patient with it, and if you have to, un, you know, you could pull it away from the other piece, it's fine. So, just coming around. Coming around. I'm going to bring this up a little. I'm not still not liking, and I don't want to use my pliers. I'm not liking the way that's wanting to bend right after that last set of beads. So bring that up. Bring that up. Bring that up. Now they're up above at the moment because I'm trying to make sure I get them nice and rounded. That's my higher priority right now. And I don't know if you noticed, but it's already come halfway through the... Okay, so at this point is when I actually have to take my pliers, stick them in that end, and I have to make the last of that loop. So I'm going to take it, and you're above the other stuff, and I'm just twirling it to bend it in. See? It bends in. Okay, so now I'm trying to sit them down beside each other. And I'm going to put this in. Twirl it some more. See, I've twirled it some more. Making sure all my beads are forward. And I can feel one bead in the back there that wants to go hang out at the back. 
So I'm just gently, gently, because I don't want to break the bead, I'm just going to pop it forward. Pop the beads forward. They'll end up laying sort of like a like this against each other, like on a like a I don't know like this against each other, stacked. That's how they end up being. Okay, so I need to torque it in even more. I'm gonna take my narrow end of my pliers, uh, bring it in some more. I'm using my fingers and my nails. That's why I don't have any nails, and that's why my fingers are all chewed up. Okay, it's getting there. So that's literally what I do, is I just keep taking this and turning it around until it fills, uh, it can, they can all lay down inside. See? Now they can all lay down inside. So I can actually take my wire flatteners right now. And actually flatten everything out, make sure that all the beads are laying up where I want them. I can bring this around, flatten everything. So I can see that I need to bring this in just a smidge more. Again, I don't want to grab a hold of the coil if I can help it. I'm going to do everything in my power not to grab that coil. Um, if I have uh, with with pliers, okay, tweak it in a little bit more. If I have to. Um, I would take it to the outside and just pull that in, but it's not going to go in. Let's try to do a little tiny bit there. Okay. Okay, so I'm happy. It's flat. I've got the spiral. Everything's really flat. At this point, you have some choices. Um, I don't feel, because it's an earring, uh, it's necessary to secure it down further. Um, I'm still going to need to tweak it a little bit more. It's not quite laying right in there. <clears throat> but I'm going to continue to tweak this till it's laying perfectly flat in there. Um, beside each other, I can see the beads. Everything looks wonderful. Um, as you can see with this one, everything's beside each other. They sort of touch each other. This isn't um, actually, I could take it and go like this with it. But because I've worked with it and the coiling on it, it's really not going to go anywhere. Um, if you wanted to, you could actually just strap it down here or strap it down between the beads, but this weave is so tight, it would be really hard to get around. Um, I haven't found any problem with them so far, and I've worn them, um, some friends of mine that have long hair or short hair have worn them too, and they don't get their hair caught in them, it's not, as long as you make sure that your planes are good, so if you look at the plane, it's not sticking out. They're all nice and flat, and you know they have a slight curve to them. Just a slight curve. So as long as you make sure that that's good, um, you're good to go. Okay. So I'm going to get these all tweaked and flattened out the way they should be. Get the spirals uh, perfect, and that's again the, this is a medium difficulty piece, so that's why I'm showing it to you. But you're going to have to take time to sort of get your pieces to the way you want, and I'll come back when I'm done and show you how to finish off this top. Okay, I've got them both settled in. They're not absolutely 100% symmetrical, but they're close enough for earrings, for sure, for sure. So um, now we're ready to just do, we have the one wire left to deal with, and we're ready to go. So as you can see, they're all completely, um, they're finished, they're flattened, they're, they look like little lollipops on a stick. So great stuff. I like to have the beads to the outside, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to just make a wrap loop. So it's pretty simple. I don't want a big wrap loop. So I'm just going to take a little bit of space, and I'm going to bend this over. Okay, and then I'm going to use my, and I, I like a fairly decent sized loop because I like to have it to have movement. So I'm bringing that around, bringing that around, and until I have a loop, now it's not quite centered, so we're going to give it a little tweak to center it over the top, and we can pull the scarf down. Okay, so it's centered. Now this has to get wrapped. The space in between this and here have to get wrapped. So you just, I use this and do it this way. And because my ear findings allow me to open them, I'm going to open them. 
If they didn't, I would have to put them in before I did this wrap. So the big thing is that you want to make sure you finish this wrap on the back side. Okay. So this last one isn't tucked in as much as I'd like it to be, so I'm just going to squeeze. So I'm pretty happy there. I think I can go one more time. I've got a little bit of space. So I'm going to go right around one more time. There, I'm happier with that. See? And now I'm going to cut that off and tuck it into the back. So I'm just cutting it off. I, I actually like to bring my loop farther than I need it to be so that it starts the roundness for me and then I bring it back up and cut it off. So you can see the, the loops sort of um, rounded already where I'm going to cut. And I'm going to cut it off. There we go. Get that little piece of wire out of the way. Take my pliers and tuck that in. You want to make sure that's good and tucked in. So it's completely out of the way. Just making sure it's rounded and tucked. I'm happy with that. Make sure this is to the front. And all you have to do is put your ear wires on now. And I just grab these ones with the little bit of French coil and a ball. These are pre-made ones and they're hyperallergenic, nickel-free, which is really important to a lot of the, my customers. I'm always stingy with how much I open these things. So just remember, you're opening this just like you would a jump ring, and you have to remember to put the front side to the front side. That's all. And close it up, and I have my earring. So now I just need to do the other one, and do the wrap loop, and I'm all done. So I want to thank you for um, joining me today. Um, I hope you learned something. I know this was a little more difficult, and and once you start doing it, you're going to see how hard this wrap, this wrap is lovely and hard. It's great for bracelets and stuff, um, but this wrap is really quite hard uh, to do as far as like manipulating it. And that's why my fingers are always so chewed up as I do a lot of difficult wraps like that that are quite stiff when you go to move them. And I do a lot of my movement with my fingers to not mar my wire. So I'm going to finish the second one up, and I want to thank you for watching me today. I hope you learned something and keep on making from Manny's Makings. Bye-bye for now.